Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to pick up a Bible. Turn with me to Proverbs chapter 25. We'll look at verse number 2. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, praise God, no better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God. Well, friend, the Bible says over here in Proverbs 25, 2, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. Today, friend, I want to bring to you a thought titled, Trusting God's Vision. You know, at times, one of the hardest things about God is that we do not see nor do we comprehend what God is doing, especially when trouble strikes our way. Of course, it's human nature to want to reason everything out and understand what's happening to us, and even more so to try to plan our way out of trouble and to fix it. But realize that at times... God hides details from you on purpose. And we ask the question, why? Well, in order for your faith to grow and in order for you to learn to rely fully on the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, he calls you to trust him and to realize that he sees the circumstances of your life from the beginning to the end from his all-knowing and eternal wise perspective. And God wants you to know that that's enough for you. And that's why at times you will be forced to submit the confusing dilemma before your eyes to God and simply rest in his guidance and leadership. So friend, listen, when trouble strikes, don't be disheartened if your limited earthly understanding fails you. Rather, my friend, be encouraged by focusing on the fact that the Father has your life in his hands and in his wise and all-powerful knowledge and is working all things out together for your good. So take the time to thank him for seeing all situations that you're in clearly and uh, thank him that uh, he especially sees those situations when you can't. And thank him for growing your faith and helping you to trust in him more and more. And friend, listen, remember that your hope's in the Lord Jesus because he's going to lead you with his perfect love and his perfect vision. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much that you lead, guard, guide, and direct our lives in spite of ourselves. And Lord, we know there are times that we may not understand and we may even ask the question, why? But you understand that too, and we're thankful. Now, Lord, I pray that you'll bless this to the one who needs to hear it most and use it for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you'll let this word speak to you today and uh, let God bless you as never before. Then go out into your world, make a difference in it. Remember to smile, let others see the Lord Jesus in you. Your life could be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Christ in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.